right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at um, surface area of prisms and cylinders here in lesson uh, 9.2. So we're going to look at finding surface area. So we need to define what surface area is and then take a look at how we can calculate that. So the vocabulary we need is um, a prism. We kind of already talked about this in 11 one, or 9 one, and that it's a polyhedron with two congruent bases that are parallel. So we're going to have either two triangles, two rectangles. Um, we can't say a cylinder. The cylinder is not a polyhedron, but because it has the two uh, circular bases that are parallel, that's why we put cylinders in here. Um, lateral faces are the faces that are not a base. They're what connect your polygons. So when I think of a box, we think of like the size of a box. Um, the top and the bottom are what we call our faces, and then the lateral faces are the size of that box. Um, surface area is the sum of the area of all of the faces. So basically how much is needed to cover a solid. So if I want to wrap a present to give someone, then it's in a box, which would be a rectangular prism. Then I'm calculating the surface area. Um, lateral area is just the sum of the lateral faces. So just the size of the box um, would be the lateral areas for that. And then a cylinder is just a solid with two circular bases that are parallel. We've kind of already talked about those cylinders. All right, so let's take a look at um, surface area. Now, they're going to give you a formula for that, and then we're going to kind of use what we talked about in class, is that it's just a bunch of polygons that we can calculate the area for from what we used in Chapter 8. But the surface area of a prism is the sum of twice the area of a base, because there's two bases, so the area of a base, and the product of the perimeter of the base and the height of the object, the height of the stuff. All right? So in other words, it's two times big B for area of base. So this big B is area of base plus big P times H, and this is the perimeter of the base. And obviously H, hopefully, you know is um, height. So if we look at the prism that we have here, it's 2 times L times W. So LW, that'll give you the area of the base plus 2L plus 2W. That's the formula for perimeter. And we're going to multiply that by the H. So we have 2Ls and we have 2Ws. So that gives us our perimeter. So this is perimeter right here times the height. So let's take a look at what we can do there. Um, we looked at these nets. The net of a prism is just a box opened up, and so you can see all of the faces there. So when we talk about congruent faces, we have the left and the right face. So the left and the right face here. All right. And when we look at the left and right face, that is an 8 by 5. So 8 by 5 are the dimensions. And so the area is 40 inches squared. Now there's two of them. All right, so we need to keep that in mind. Um, we're then going to look at the front and the back of the object. Those are congruent faces. And so the front is 3 by 8 which means the back is 2, so that's 24 inches squared. And then we have the top and the bottom. And so this is how I often go about calculating surface area. Um, I will say before I started teaching geometry, I don't know as though I really memorized that formula and had it as something that I used, but I understood what surface area was. Surface area was the area of these sides all added together. So my um, base, my bottom, is 3 
by five. And so that's 15 inches squared. And so because I have two of each of those, I have a left and right side, it's two times the 40 inches squared, plus two times the 24 inches squared for the uh, front and back, and then two times the 15 for top and bottom. And so 80 plus 24 plus, uh, I'm sorry, 80 plus um, 50, plus 48 plus 30 is 158 inches squared. So it's 158 inches squared. So that's one way of doing it. We're not using any formula. We're not having to memorize anything. We're just going through and doing length times width for each of those sides. All right, so we can see that this is three by five for top and bottom. All right, we can see that this is three by eight for uh, left, I don't know, this was front, back, sorry. front, and back, all right? So let's take a look at this. Now we're going to find the surface area of, a, um, of another prism. This time it's a triangular prism. So we're going to, I'm going to go through and talk you through this formula. It's a triangular prism because these triangles are what are parallel from each other. And so the formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So it's one half times four times three, which is gonna give me six meters squared. Um, what happens if we fold this out, we have four meters here if we were to cut it open, then we would have three meters here. And then we would have five meters for this side as we unfold this object. So the perimeter of that base is 5 plus 3 um, plus 4 for a total of 12 meters. It's opened up with this 2 meters here. All right. And so the height of it is 2 meters. So if we do 2 times the area of the base, so 2 times 6, plus the perimeter, which was 12, times the height of 2, we have 12 plus 24, which is 36 meters squared. So that's what using this formula is. Looking at this triangle, fold it out to create this rectangle that's wrapping around the sides. And doing that. Now we can still go through and find the area of each of those. Um, we have 3 times 4 um, times 1 half, which gives me 6 here, and 6 on the back side. So I have my two faces, I'm sorry, my two bases, and those are each 6. And then we have the lateral sides. This is a 4 by 2 rectangle, so that's 8 meters squared. If we take a look at this, this is a 5 by 2, which is 10 meters squared. And then on this side, we have a 3 by 2 rectangle which is six meters squared. And if we take all of these and add those together, we still get the same 36 meters squared. So we can find the area of a prism, whether it's using the formula of two times the area of the base plus the perimeter times height, or finding each lateral, each face, the two bases and the lateral um, faces, finding their individual areas and adding them together. All right, so we want to go through and find surface area of the prism. Um, I'm going to do two of these with you um, each way, and then you guys can do the, um, one on your own. So here my base is this 2 by 6 rectangle. So it's 2 times the area of the base, which is 12. Plus I have to find the perimeter of that base. Well, 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 2 more is 10, plus 6 is 16, times the height of 3. So we have 24 
plus 16 times 3 is 48. And we do 24 plus 48. And that gives me 72 inches squared. Now if we go back through and think of this in terms of what rectangles I have. I have a 2 by 6 rectangle here, which is 12. I have a 2 by 6 rectangle here, which is 12. Here I have a 6 by 3 rectangle, which is 18. And I have a um, 6 by 3 rectangle, which is 18. Remember, opposite sides are congruent. I then have a 2 by 3 rectangle in the front a 2 by 3 rectangle in the back, and so that's um, plus 6, plus 6, I guess we can keep the line going. Okay, and so if we do 12 plus 12, which is 24, plus 36, plus 12, we still get the same 72, that we had earlier. So either method you use is going to work. This one you're going to do on your own using either formula, either the 2B plus P times H or calculating each surface separately. If we take a look at number 3, our bases are triangles. So the area of my base, I've got 2 times the area of the base. Um, the area of this base, because it's a triangle, it is one half um, base of eight times six, so it's two times twenty-four. The perimeter of that base is eight plus six plus ten, so that's twenty-four times the height of four. So two times twenty-four is forty-eight, and then twenty-four times four is ninety-six. And so that's 144 centimeters squared. But if we go through and take a look at this as just um, individual faces, we have 1 half times 8 times 6 for that triangle, which was 24. And then we have another tr uh, triangle here, so that's another 24. I need to look at the front of this. This front is 10 by 4, this rectangle here, and so 10 times 4 is 40. This rectangle here is 8 by 4, so that is 32. And this rectangle here is 6 by 4, so we've covered all three of those, and that's 24. And so the same thing, if we look at these and we add all of those up, um, we do a quick mental math just to verify. This is 48, um, this is 72, and this is 24. Um, this is going to be 72 when we add those two together, plus 72 does give us 144 centimeters squared. So we can see either method, memorizing the formula or calculating each side, is going to give you the same area. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the surface area of cylinders. Cylinders are a little bit different. Hopefully looking at um, the video today showed you what's going on. It's a, two circles that are wrapping a rectangle around them. Those are the two shapes that we have. So the surface area of a cylinder is, twice this, um, is the sum of twice the area of a base, and so that's your circle, and the product of the circumference, because circumference is just perimeter of a circle of the base and the height. So we still have to do that perimeter times height. So it's 2 times big B. This is still area of base. Plus C times H. And C is going to stand for circumference. So if we take a look at what we have here, we're going to do 2 times pi r squared, because we are, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared, 
plus circumference. Remember, circumference is 2 pi r. So we're going to do um, 2 times pi times radius times the height, that vertical segment there. All right, so let's take a look at an example. So we're going to round our answer to the nearest. It says whole number. We're going to do to the nearest tenth here. Let's go out at least a couple decimal places um, on there. Sorry, guys, I had to find my um, calculator. So if we look here, um, the raise to the base is 3 feet, and the height is 4 feet. So we're going to use these values for that. Um, the formula for um, the surface area is 2 times pi r squared. So we have two circles. So we're going to do 2 pi, um, 2 times pi times 3 squared, because that's your radius plus 2 times pi times just the radius, because that's the circumference, times your height of 4. So you're substituting um, 3 for r and 4 for h. So um, we're going to keep it in terms of pi at that point. Watch what we can do. Um, this is going to give me 2 times 9, which is 18 pi, and 2 times 3 times 4 is going to give me 24 pi. And so when we add those together, it's kind of like adding x's, 18x plus 24x is just going to give me 42x, so this is 42 pi. And then we're going to take our calculators and do 42 pi, and that gives me 131.9. And so it's about 131.9 feet Square. Now, I want you to realize that here, if you had just multiplied all of this together, you would have had um, 2 times pi times 9, which would have given you, um, at this point, it would have given you 56.5. And then here, if you had done 2 times pi times 3 times 4, this would have given you 75.5. And so when you add those together, you're getting the same answer of 131.9 feet squared. So it doesn't matter where you do your calculations at. Um, doing it in the middle of the problem is probably a little more comfortable for some of you. So if you skip this step here and go right to the multiplication, that's fine. All right, so let's take a look at the last example. So we want to um, figure out how much plastic it is used. Um, to make a straw that has a diameter of 5 milliliters and a height of 195 milliliters. Um, now, here it just says fine lateral area because a straw is a cylinder with no bases. There's no top or bottom to that. Um, and so we're going to use the surface area formula, but we're not going to include the area of the bases. All right. So we're just going to do 2 times pi times r, this is the circumference, times the height. Okay. So we have 2 pi times, it says it has a radius of 5 millimeters, and it has a height of 195 millimeters. All right, so this is just a surface area formula without 2 pi r squared, without the base. Okay, so we're going to do 2 times 5 times 195. Or you can type that all into your calculator. Remember, we're still going to round to the nearest tenth. So this gives me 975. And so if I go to my calculator and do 975 times pi, we get about 3,063.1. And this is area still, so it's millimeters squared. All right, so about 3,063.1 millimeters squared of plastic is used. All right, you guys have a couple of checkpoints.
We'll do a surface area together and then you guys are going to do five and six on your own. All right, so I need to find the area of two bases. Plus, I have to do the circumference to get the length of that rectangle times the height. So if we look at this, we've got 2 times pi times 3 squared, because that's my radius. Plus, the circumference is going to be 2 pi times 3 times the height of 5. So 2 times um, 9 is 18 pi, plus this is going to give me 30 pi. So I'm going to, I don't have my calculator handy, I'm doing more writing than typing. So this is 48 pi. So I'm going to go to my calculator and type in 48 pi. Like I said, you guys can start doing the calculating earlier. And in fact, you could type this whole statement here into your calculator and we should all end up with 150.8. This is in inches. So inches squared. Notice here you're going to do just lateral area, so this is like the straw problem. So look back at the straw. All right, hopefully the videos today in class helped, and going through these notes help. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good evening.